Hello, my friends. So, I thought it would be fun to read a chick tract while I'm working on another much longer video. This particular tract is titled Boo. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> you rented this whole place for only $50. Yeah, man. It's for our class Halloween party. Why is this bird feeding a worm to a snake? And the snake doesn't seem to be happy about it. Camp Basil Bub. <laughs> oh, Jack. Everybody who's anybody from Salem High will be here. Charlie, I know why you got this place so cheap. Why? Because last Halloween, 13 people were murdered here. What? Yeah, 13 people were murdered here, and you didn't hear anything about it? Did they get the killer? They riddled him with bullets, but couldn't find his body. He must be dead. Then there's nothing to worry about. The gang should be here by dark. Boy, have I got a surprise for them. They riddled him with bullets and found no body? And he assumes that the killer is dead? <laughs> so he's gullible and stupid. Carrie will sacrifice a cat to Satan at midnight. That's gross. What a way to end a party. Oh, oh. They're coming to celebrate my birthday. Fuck, I forgot my chainsaw. Are these supposed to be Satanists or just dicks killing a cat? And why is Pumpkinhead got a snake on a leash? Midnight. Oh, mighty Satan, we sacrifice this cat to you on your birthday. I don't want the cat as my sacrifice. I want Carrie. So they threw this party, invited everybody who is anybody at Salem High. Nice. And are going to kill a cat in some weird ritual? <laughs> they are portraying all the satanic tropes. He's killing everybody. Help. Yeah. No. Chief, there's another massacre going down to Camp Basilbub. Oh no. If it's the same killer, we'll need an army. Hey, the cat got away, and the mouse. And there's a file and a slice of cake. <laughs> Forty minutes later. Die, you motherfucker. What is it? Surprise. Run, tis Delvey himself. The big reveal. Pumpkinhead is actually Satan. Why does the devil have to resort to using a chainsaw to murder people? As much as Christians build him up, I thought he would have other means to destroy lives. He's vanished into thin air. Gulp. We've already got 19 dead. You gotta stop him, Chief. He must be on his way to the village. May the saints preserve him. If they riddled him with bullets a second time and he vanished again, maybe it's time to call the FBI, the army, or Bob Larson. Outside the village church. That little creep is praying when it's party time. Good, here he comes. Yo! Gath. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4 7. Fuck! I hate you, and I hate your lousy birthday. Take note that this is the second time that Halloween has been referred to as Satan's birthday. The next morning, Pastor, is Halloween really Satan's birthday? No, Joey. He was created in heaven, and his name was Lucifer. He was a beautiful creature who guarded God's throne. Then he rebelled against God, so he was kicked out of heaven. Joey asked the Pastor if Halloween is Satan's birthday, and he says no. I just find this odd as this is a common claim made by these Christian extremists. About a third of the angels rebelled too and were kicked out with him. They became demons and Lucifer became Satan. Who kicked him out of heaven, pastor? His creator, the Lord Jesus Christ. Ugh, I hate that name. Satan is alive and well and is destroying mankind. He and his demons know their time is short. They're afraid of Jesus Christ because he created a lake of fire for them. But Satan wants everybody to fry in hell with him. Unfortunately, he'll get most of them. He is a master deceiver. And Halloween is just one of his tricks. Kids love Halloween because it's both fun and scary. Twick or tweet. But they have no idea what's behind this celebration. To Satanists and witches, Halloween is no joke. It's their most solemn ceremony of the year. As we get closer to the second coming of Jesus, 
Satanism will increase, so will human sacrifice. Halloween started in the British Isles with the Druids. Those guys were really spooky. Why is this Druid holding an Egyptian Ankh? And no, the Catholic celebration of Halloween started around the middle of the 8th century and was the All Holy Evening before All Saints Day. October 31st was a night of terror called Samhain. That night. No, help me! The Druids went house to house taking victims for human sacrifice. In exchange for the victim, they left a jack-o'-lantern which was supposed to protect the home from death demons that night. The Druids did not go house to house taking victims for sacrifice. Pumpkins are from the Americas and were non-existent in Europe during the time of the Druids. And why would they take a victim to kill but offer a pumpkin that protects them from death demons? <laughs> Satan loves Halloween because it glamorizes the powers of darkness, drawing kids into his camp, and it's paying off. Witchcraft is exploding among teens today. The Lord hates Halloween, its evil origin. Satanic human sacrifices are a slap in God's face. Satan's sacrifices are a mockery of God's perfect sacrifice for our sins. You mean when Jesus was crucified? Yes, Satan hates that message and blocks it every chance he gets. He has blinded people's minds to the truth. That's his trick. Halloween opens the door to Satanism. Read Lucifer Dethroned and Blood on the Doorposts by William and Sharon Schnub Schnub by William and Sharon Schnub by William and Sharon Schnub by Chick Publication. This is what Satan doesn't want you to read. Don't read this part. Trust me. Sin stops everyone from going to heaven, but God in his perfect love provided the way. See John 14.5 He sent his son Jesus Christ to die in our place. Jesus is the only way to heaven, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Jesus shed his precious blood to wash away our sins. 1 Corinthians 15, 3-4 If you believe Jesus died for your sins and receive him as your personal savior, you will be saved. Then you will reign with Jesus forever. Forgive me, Lord. Now that's the smart move. But if you're a dummy, and go with Satan. Hi, guys. Welcome to the lap, you rat. Got the picture? I hope we all learned a valuable lesson today. If you ever go camping on Halloween with the intent of killing a cat as a sacrifice to Satan, beware of a large pumpkin-headed chainsaw-wielding psychopathic killer. It just might be the devil himself. Until next time, I will see you in hell, you heathens.